I need to. This is live. All righty. So I think I'm live on YouTube. Let's see if it's all working this week. I am going to mute this quickly while I move this over. to make sure I'm live on YouTube, which is great. So we have Instagram. How are you? Let me try to mute this. All the beeps. Don't worry about it. It's all my messages that are popping up. And then we've got YouTube and we're trying to make sure that is all working out. Now let me make sure we have Facebook, which is going live. And I think all that should be. And if it is, then let's see. So Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, what? It's going on, really. Okay, I'll tell you what's going on. I'm trying still to work out all of these various different platforms. So I'm going to say hello, 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 and waving to all of you that have joined. I am so happy to see you. A little bit more delayed than I anticipated this morning because I was trying to work out adding another new platform, and we're getting it together. So this works well, and I am hopeful, hopeful that the sound is going to work well because... I decided to take it outside today. Yes, I know, safer at home. Because my home is right here on the sand, that means I am not technically outside. I am actually just on my terrace or or what do you wanna call it? Some people call them balconies, some people call them terraces, some people call them, I don't know, what do you all call it? So that's what's going on so we are back 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 hello 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 and i'm saying hello to all of you on facebook hey stan um and on instagram and on youtube and you know what we do we've been doing this now for over two months but it was not always open to everyone for two months why because it was something, it was a question and answer. And what was happening is at the company, Supercharged by Kwanzaa Jones, which is my company, we would have a lot of different moments where we would just sit together, ask each other questions, or I guess, let me put it this way. A lot of my team would ask, oh, how do you do this or this or this? Or they were curious about things which may be related to just life-related things or finance related things or relationship things or any of those things. And I said, why don't I just have one day a week where I will do a Q&A and this way, any questions for like an hour that you have that I can be helpful with and I can answer, that is what I'll do. So it started internally at the company and then I decided, okay, well, let's extend it out because sometimes people's family or friends or family members and friends of people who are with the company would ask questions too and ask them to ask their relatives and then come ask me. So here's here's how we're just doing it all. Basically, it's all good. It's all public. It's all here. It's all live. Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. So let's get some questions going. What I always do, just to give you a heads up, is 
any of the questions that you have and you'll see me hold up a sign very soon that says ask and you'll see me hold up a sign. It's going to be twofold because one side of the sign says ask and it's going to look backwards. The other side of the sign says ask and it's going to be the other way. So I'll show it to you. And when you see that, make sure you take a screen cap because that way, if you have any questions and you're not asking them now, meaning live during the live event, you can always Take a screenshot of my my number and the code to send me a message and you can just ask them that way and I'll ask them next week. I'll answer them next week. So for now, let me tell you a couple questions from last week because I did not get to them last week. And I always say, if you asked a question in a previous week and I didn't get a chance to get to it, then guess what? You get to come to the front of the line the top of Q in the questions, in the Q, get it? Q and A and Q also meaning line. All right, you know, I, I know, I know. So you get to hop to the front of the line so I can ask your questions. So here was one of the questions we had from last week. And this was, somebody asked me and it was a real estate question. Question was, what advice would you give someone looking to invest in real estate in Los Angeles? So, and that looks like that is Calaria. And I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. I hope so. If not, I apologize. Let me know. Send me a message and tell me how to pronounce your name so I can pronounce it correctly. Because I always say I like to call people what they want to be called. So the real estate question. Now, as some of you all know, I have a number of real estate holdings, uh, residential, commercial to investments and a lot of different things. But I would answer her question about investing, what would I give, what advice would I give someone looking to invest in real estate in Los Angeles? And I'm checking the message from last week. And I, I got to answer that question with a question, which is what type of real estate are you looking at investing in? Because oftentimes if I don't have more information, it makes it more difficult for me to ask in or answer in the way as thoroughly as I would like to answer. So I'll put it this way. If it's residential, if it's commercial, is it a place for you to live in? Is it a place for you to invest in and rent out? Like, think about what your goal is with real estate. If your goal with real estate is for you to have a property that you can actually live in um, and then just have it over time start to increase in value, that's one way you can invest in real estate. So, and then another thing is if you were doing it and maybe it's a property where you're able to rent out a portion of it, whether you're living in it or you're not living in it, or maybe it's a purely investment one. I think regardless of what type of real estate you're interested in doing or investing in right now. And once again, I need a little more information. So I'm going to make sure you send me more info so I can give you a more thorough question. Um, regardless of what type whether it's in LA now or anywhere, now is an opportunity. And I don't want to, I certainly don't want it where anyone is thinking about uh, how difficult things and challenging things are. And we know financially, it's very challenging for people. Really, like employment is very challenging. There are a lot of things that are going on right now, but it's also a time and a moment for opportunities. And when you're looking at it in terms of opportunities, I always say, think about what comes next. So if you're thinking, oh, maybe I want to go and I want to invest in some real estate in LA, I want to invest in real estate in LA. Let me start figuring out what type. So number one, what type of real estate are you trying to invest in? Number two, where are you looking to invest? If you're saying it's in LA, all right, drill down even more, like go even further, go even further. Is it a single family property because it's residential? Is it a single family property? Maybe it has a guest home because it's residential. What neighborhood is it that you're trying to look in? What neighborhood do you think you're able to get the most value for? Like what's within your budget or your price range or where? So do some more research is what I would say. And I'm going to give you one other thing now. And let me fold this so you all get it. And Kalaria, this is for you. And I, once again, I apologize if I mispronounce your name. Here's this. Some of you all know it. I'm holding the sign that says ask. I'm going to hold it here. I'm going to do it different because I'm on a few different places. So I'm on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. So hello, everyone there. For IG, here you go. Text ask. So text me. I show you it comes to my phone, except I'm using my phone to actually talk to you here. Text ask to 833-672-0275. In case this shows up backwards, I'm going to put this. 
because on different platforms it shows up backwards. So here we go. Text me, text ASK, A-S-K, to 833-672-0275. And you can text me here and then give me a little more details about specifically what type of investment you're trying to do in real estate. What sorts of things are you thinking about? What sorts of things are you looking for? And I'll do the same thing over here for Facebook for you all too. Ask 833-672-0275. You all just make sure you text me and whatever. Once again, I don't give financial advice. I don't give legal advice. All I do is tell you different things I've done and experiences that I've had. And I hope it can be helpful for you. And at the very least, hopefully it can be a thought, a thought starter for you. So Gloria, that's it. The biggest thing is research and clearly define a little bit more. And if you don't know what the, if you don't know what it is that you are really trying to do, perfect opportunity to even research more. Residential, commercial, for you personally, for other people, for you to have tenants, for you to have not tenants, for you to hold a long time, like all of those things. And text me, text me, text me. I already gave you the number and some of the supercharged team. Hello, hello, hello. And thank you all supercharged team that is helping me moderate all of these questions. They are putting in the comment thread, the my number for you to text me, ask and give me more details about your question. And of course, you all know, I love doing webinars and sharing whatever information that I can share. So we'll make sure that the team and I at Supercharge, we're gonna make sure we get some webinars that will be helpful for you. And by that, I mean helpful for you in terms of trying to compile a lot of the questions you have and create more, more resources for you around it. Okay, so that is that one. Now let me get to the next question. Here we go. It's taking just a minute. Let me get to that next question. Um, but actually, here is it. We're, we're gonna pause for a commercial break. Ding. Actually, we're pausing because I think I don't know if it's street cleaner or it's a something or it's something backing up on the other side of that street. So I don't think you can hear me anyway because it's pretty noisy right now. So give me just a minute. And in this moment, I'll just say hi, hey, 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 Facebook, hey, Caesar, hey, Brad, hey, Toby, hey, Aquata, hey. Mark to Bali. Oh, I'm just like everybody. And if I miss, hey, Andre, Christopher, hello, everyone here on IG, on Facebook. Hello, on YouTube. Hello. Did you all see that? <laughs> BRB. <laughs> okay. I had to go find my ring. <laughs> Why will I BRB? Because I had a ring on and I went hello to everybody and you saw what happened. Maybe you didn't see what happened. I saw what happened. It flew off my freaking finger. And so I'm like, wait, hold on to that. Don't fly into the blue sky. I really want my ring back. So, hey, cuz, how's it going? Hey, Dion and Bo. So all of those things. Now, that was my commercial break to say hello to all of you on all of the different platforms and to wave and do all those various things. And it was also my commercial break to uh, pick up my ring, which flew off my finger. And it was also, most importantly, <laughs> my commercial break because there was a truck that was passing and making a lot of noise. So now that we have our commercial breaks over, guess what's happening now? Back to our regularly scheduled question and answer moment with Kwanzaa. So I answered some of the questions from last week. I'm going to answer another one from last week. Um, and this question comes from Kyle. And this question from last week was, one moment, do you, I'm reading it off of my messages, which is on the other computer. Do you think COVID-19 has changed the way the businesses will operate moving forward? In other words, ooh, hold on, this stuff, one moment. Okay, so like I said, I'm trying something new today and that's actually being outside, but what's happening with being outside, stuff is flying and it's actually a little windy here at the beach. So pardon me, things are flying, it's windy, all these other things. So back to the question. Um, Kyle asks, do you think COVID-19 has changed the way that businesses will operate moving forward? In other words, businesses may no longer consider the ability to work remotely as a luxury, but as a necessity. So I looked down so I could read it. And you know what? Let me try to hold the computer up high so I can read it and not look down here. Once again, Kyle asked the question, COVID-19 is a changing businesses. Essentially, that's it. And specifically, is it changing the way that businesses will operate moving forward? They may no longer consider the ability to work remotely as a luxury, but as a necessity. Ooh. 
Kyle, phenomenal question. And let me tell you why, because it's something, and I'm waving, waving, hello, hello, hello. Let me get to this answer for a number of you all. Now, for those of you who work with me, or we've worked together or have had conversations together or all sorts of things, please pardon me while I am trying to, okay, another commercial break. Something is scratching me in my back. And if I don't get this thing straight, it is like gonna drive me bananas. You ever have something like a tag in your shirt? Oh, it's like a tag in your shirt and it sticks you in the back and it's like, ugh, ugh. okay. I'm really, I'm trying. I'm trying to just keep it all together. How many of you are just trying to keep it all together right about now and all these times? <laughs> Okay, so now I'm so much better. That tag that was there, it was like ugh, poking me in the back of my neck and I could not think straight because I'm like, ugh. All right, back to Kyle's questions. For those who have talked to me um, and we've had conversations and even those who may have seen my LinkedIn or various other things, I have said COVID-19 is changing how businesses are. And before that, I'm talking not even months before all of this happened, not even three months, four months, six months, however many months it's been, that I've been talking about this, it's actually been years that I have been talking about this. And the, this that I'm talking about is what is called the future of work. So I would always say the future of work is now. And I've been saying that years ago, the future of work is now. Now fast forward to two years later, and we're in 2020 and we see what's happening with COVID-19. Yes, it's changing how businesses are operating and and even more so, it's really a matter of the way businesses move forward, working remotely is absolutely not going to be a luxury. It is going to be a necessity. But I was saying it was a necessity way before, and I'll tell you the reason why. And one of the reasons why is because when you're thinking of it, it all depends on where and how you're thinking of things. If you're thinking of things from a business perspective, whether you're a CEO, a COO, a manager, a supervisor, executive, investor, board member, all those sorts of things. What's one of the most important things that you know you have to think of? Anyone want to guess? If you guess, put it in the chat and I'll tell you. If you haven't guessed, I'm still going to tell you. One of the most important things, and I say one of, because it's not the only thing, but it is one of the things. One of the most important things for you to think about is your team your people. So when I mean your team and your people, unless you are operating a business that requires nobody, and I mean nobody, no people, unless you're operating a business that only requires robots or AI, <laughs> if that's all it is, people are always going to be the most important thing for your business. People are. And people not only in terms of your team and your people that are working for you, but your, your clients, your customers, all of those things. But I'm going to talk about the people aspect in terms of the team that you have. When you're looking at this and how the future of work is, you've got to understand at times people, as we all know, there, there needs to be certain types of flexibility at times. And this has always been the case. Maybe you have team members or employees that get sick. Maybe you have team members or employees that have to care for a family member. Maybe you have team members or employees that are uh, starting families in whatever way they're starting families. Like all of those sorts of things means flexibility is a necessity. How can you have flexibility? It's a reason why I was saying the future of work is now a number of years ago, you can have flexibility and still have productivity by making sure you're enabling there to be remote work solutions. So one of the ways I was enabling remote work solutions was well before this, talking about remote work, three things that are so critical. And I call it commitment, culture, and community. So commitment, culture, and community. And those things, I wrote a rapid remote, what I call a rapid remote rollout plan. So it's three essential things that you need. Oh, pardon me, I'm saying community, but community is part of, community is, is part of the culture. It's commitment, communication, and culture. So once again, commitment, communication, and culture. So in this rapid remote plan that I wrote out, I have a lot of different resources. And I also tell you some of the best practices and things that we have done at Supercharge that have made it seamless. So yes, after we get beyond COVID-19, hey, people yelling. Um, I don't know if you all heard them yelling, but those who know me know I can talk louder than any of these people. So, <laughs> so long story short, uh, ask, 
do this. Ask me for that rapid remote rollout plan. Here we go. I'm going to hold this so you can do a screenshot. And I'm doing it both ways for those who are just joining because what happens is ask, text me at 833-672-0275 and on different things because, hey, Instagram, now on YouTube, here you go. Ask. That's my phone number. Text me 833-672-0275. You're able to go. It comes directly to me and ask me even more questions. And in this instance, ask me. Here you go, Facebook. This is for you. Screenshot it and screenshot it. And some of the supercharged team on whichever platform you're on will put the number in there too. But text me, ask, and I'll send you some of my best practices for rolling out a work from home plan. And quite frankly, something that lasts even beyond COVID-19 because I've been doing it now and it's going to, yes, it's going to be a necessity for a number of different businesses. Now, mind you, not everyone is going to be able to have 100% of their team working remotely 100% of the time. It's not the reality of the situation because different sorts of work, different sorts of roles, different sorts of businesses, different sorts of industries require different sorts of tactics. So I go into a lot of that too. So short answer, Kyle, yes. <laughs> yes, working from home is going to be a reality and a necessity, not just a luxury. I think before a lot of people would look at it as, hey, no, it's a perk that you get to have. But from a business, when you're thinking about people and being fast and flexible and when you're thinking about people and trying to know that people are important to your business. And quite frankly, when you're also thinking about the bottom line, let's think about it this way. If you have a business that you have to pay commercial leases on or you're buying a business, a building or a unit or whatever it may be to run your business, that's a cost. So imagine if you are able to reduce some of those costs, too, by enabling there to be the ability for people to work from home. And from a talent perspective, too, you're able to get a lot of talented people. If I'm in California, I don't want to just have to say, oh, let me only work with talented people in California. Maybe I want to work with some talented people in D.C. Hey to all my D.C. friends and all my friends there and family or people on the East Coast, whether it is South Carolina, North Carolina, New York, like any of these places or somewhere in the middle or that's it. It opens up the scope that you have available for you for the team. So that's that question. Now let me go to the next one. Okay, this question, here we go. Um, once again, for Instagram, for YouTube, for Facebook, here's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to answer a question and I'm going to say hellos, 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 and I'm going to answer the question and I'm say some more hellos um, to bring you up to speed for those of you who are just joining because... <laughs> Some of you are just joining because I can tell because you're waving and saying hello. Here's what I do. Question and answer. I get questions. The first questions I am answering are the ones from the previous week. So once again, if you do not get your question answered this week, don't even worry about it. I do this once a week, but make sure you text me ask. It is in your chat thread. Right now, I'm still on some of the questions from last week and actually some from a couple, two weeks before that. But that means your questions will be at the top of the line, top of the queue. So those are the questions that I've got here uh, thus far. And then I'll get to some, I think I have one or two more from last week and that's it. This one came last week, one moment, and this question, is oh you know what right here let me actually tell you because this question reminded me those who know me and know supercharged and know the company supercharge the community it's a community of what i call friends but specifically a community of boost friends why because we are boosting each other to be better together and if we can boost ourselves and boost boost each other we can improve ourselves that means we're going to in turn improve our families, our lives, our communities. And guess what? That means ultimately we're going to be improving the world. So what that means is all of you, each and every one of you, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, we're all boost friends here. And now more than ever, we know we need to be boosting each other. So here's what I need you to do before I get to this next question. I need all of you in the chat threads or wherever you are sitting or standing or wherever you may be in the world. And also let me know where you are in the world. I need you all to say, hey, boost friend. All right, on the count of three, 
Here we go. Say it out loud, unless you're in some place where they may look at you sideways and even then say it even louder. No. <laughs> okay, if you have to say it inside, you can just say it inside. But I want all of you on the count of three to say, hey, Bruce friend, and then also write it in the chat. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hey, Bruce friend. Two, three. Hey, Boo's friend, your best friend and your smartest mentor wrapped up in one because all of us have stories and experiences that we can help that, that we can help each other with by sharing some of these stories and experiences. And I'm seeing so many Hey Boo's friends in these chats, it, which is actually what prompted me to remember to say Hey Boo's friend, because usually I start off my question and answer moments by saying Hey Boo's friend, but this week I didn't, but never too late. So this question last week, and the question said, hey, Boo's friend, and this came from Mel. The question is, hey, Boo's friend, Sister Jones, why have you, why have you not written a book? <laughs> are you interested in doing this as you are, as, oh, wait, are you interested in doing this as you are very, I don't know what this says, but it, it says, I can't quite, I think it's a typo. So I'll take the shorter portion of that, which is, am I interested in writing a book and why haven't I done it? Whew. All right. Why haven't I done it? Um, you're assuming I haven't, huh? Mm. <laughs> I have a few books. Now they may not be published, but I got a few of them that have been done in my mind. Some of the already starts that have started, but really, it really is a matter of, yes, I'll get all that stuff out to you. And it's wonderful. It's there, but I've really just been trying to do everything in smaller form uh, content pieces for you, because quite frankly, what I find is, and I, at the supercharged summit last year, uh, this year, Supercharged Summit this year, which is held every October, but guess what? We're gonna figure out exactly what's gonna happen with that for this year. Maybe it'll be virtual, maybe it'll be, who knows, I'll let you know. But at the Supercharged Summit and in various other studies that I'd seen, I asked the question, how many people are reading? Like, what books do you read? What books are people reading? Some people were like, yeah, I read this book, this book, this book, this book, this book. Interestingly enough, a lot of this information, it. It's less that it's divided on lines in terms of generations. It's actually more divided on, along lines of people's time and how occupied they feel with their time. They feel they are with their time. A lot of people are saying, I read, I read, I read, I don't read books. I'm reading blogs, I'm reading posts, I'm reading like various different, uh, I'll say news, but like online news things. So my theory was I'm going to go ahead as far as a book. I have it. I'm going to break down some of the different things that I have and I'll just give it to you all that way. But yes, I'll go and I'll put it all together and package it and give you a nice, beautiful book. OK, there. But you're not going to get it tomorrow. <laughs> so, OK, so that one was the last question from everything that was in the queue for the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to take this moment again and say, hey, Instagram, all you friends there. Hello, 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 hello. I'm sending you hugs and I'm sending you love and all of that other good stuff. Same thing for you, YouTube. And of course, same thing for Facebook, because my Facebook friends, we've been there. Oh, for a moment, way back, back, back in the day. You know how that goes. So I'm saying hello to you. And let me just introduce you to where I am. Welcome to the sky. Do you see this? Ah. Uh, Welcome to the clouds. And in a minute, welcome to the helicopters because I hear one and it's, hold on. All right, I heard a helicopter, but I don't see the helicopter. So guess what? So here we go. And you know what? I didn't somebody tell me I had lipstick on my teeth. Come on friends, boost friends. Can somebody help me out please? I'm just happen to look in the camera because I'm seeing me in, in Instagram. Like, uh, all right, boost friend, you all know what you're supposed to do. Boost friends look out for each other. Yes. <laughs> to the lipstick on the teeth. Mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we don't want that. But yes, to tell me that I am here at the beach in sunny Southern California. And it may seem like I'm outside. And it's true. I am. But I'm not outside, outside, outside. I'm outside just on my terrace, if we want to call it that, or balcony or patio or whatever name you all want to use for it. You use that name. Okay. But I figured since 
a number of us are tuning in from so many different places. And since a lot of us, maybe not all of us, but a lot of us are safe at home and, and making sure we are practicing what I call physical distancing, not social distancing. Because socially, guess what? We are here together. We're here together. That's it. Socially in solidarity with each other as we are just trying to make sure we're not overloading the system in any way and trying to be a heavy burden because we're making sure that our healthcare workers and our professionals and those of us who are doing critical and essential jobs in the healthcare fields, in the food services industries are doing what they need to do. That means let's get out the way so people can do what they need to do so then we can all together do what we need to do, and let's make sure we're supporting them in whatever ways we can. So that's why now I am here at home. And so you're seeing the sky and the beach. I don't know if you see the beach, but I'll move. Okay, there you go, Instagram. There's a little bit of the beach there. There you go, YouTube. I'm gonna back up there. There you go, Facebook. Well, Facebook, I'll move this way. So that's it. Okay, so when you all see me shift and like do all of that, that's what you're seeing me do because I, I'm coming at you from a few different ones. So, okay, now back to this question now we have on this one. Now this question is coming from, let's see, Vinny. And Vinny on Facebook asked me, hey Kwanzaa, coming out, oh, you have any new music coming out? Also, can you please post unreleased songs and demos? Okay. Hey, Vinny, you know, we haven't talked in a while, but, um, well, you know, at least on Facebook in a while or even in person in a while. So any new music coming out and can I po please post unreleased songs and demos? Yes. Yes to everything, Vinny. Yes. That's just yes. <laughs> Hold on in case do you all hear the airplane. Do you know, like, I hear it. I don't know if you hear it, but I used to hear airplanes quite a lot because I did. It's like the marina is not that far. You would see planes, you'd see boats. So there's an airplane. So I was trying to be a little bit quiet. So uh, or rather, I was trying to give the airplane a moment to pass. That means planes are still there. Not as many, because there haven't been as many lately. All right, so Vinny, the answer back to your question is yes, 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 yes. And what more yes? Yes, I have new songs coming out. Yes, I'll post some unreleased music and some demos. Yes, I have, if I tell you that I have probably over 50 songs that have yet to be released that are in the queue for me to release, I would not be lying. But I have been a little bit busy lately in terms of making sure the Supercharged app is all together and really making sure I'm connecting the dots between the music and what I call music and moves and motivation. And that's in part what Supercharge is all about. It's how do we make moves and bold moves, not just dance moves, although you know, hey, I do like a good dance move. Yay. Um, <laughs> I just had to go do that. Although I, uh, although that is the case because you know, I've had about 10 songs that have been hits on the Billboard dance charts. So yeah, when I talk moves, I want to be talking dance moves. But this whole thing that I've been doing with Supercharged is really all about how do you bridge the gap between being empowered and making moves in a fun way, like on the dance floor, to actually also making moves in your life, making moves in your business. So that is why I have not released as much music lately because I said, let me make sure I'm doing a lot of these things too from the empowerment aspect because it's never just about the music for me. The music, when you listen to it, there are always lessons you're gonna get. There are always stories you're gonna hear. It's a lot there. And a lot of them even, if you listen closely, you'll hear experiences that I have been going through. And some of those experiences are helpful for you all too. You know, from entrepreneurs to entrepreneurs to solopreneurs, all of those various things to issues and lessons in, in life and in relationships and in finances and all that other good stuff. So yes, be on the lookout. More music is coming. I'll post some demos and some unreleased things really soon. And for those who are on Spotify, I actually am now going to be more active on Spotify. So I'll start doing more playlists and all those things. So find me at Quanta Jones on Spotify, all that other good stuff. Okay. So Vinny, hopefully that answered your question. Now, let me get to the next question. And that one is, oh, one moment. I saw someone ask about... Vinny was Facebook. So, so here, look, I'm going to say this. I got rules. Mm. 
mm, mm, I got rules for my private jet. But I also have, <laughs> I do have rules for my private jet. Um, like, take your shoes off. At the house, you cannot wear sho shoes. In the house, on the jet, you cannot wear shoes in the jet. No. Why? Keep your stuff clean and together. But anyway, I got rules. So as I tell you, some of those things, I got rules, which rules are standards not only for me, but that I want to live up to. But my rules during my Q&A moments on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and also making sure I am answering questions that came through. Once again, ask, screenshot it in case you ask 833-672-0275. In case you text me and ask me a question, there you go. So you can screenshot, do all that. So one of my rules when I am answering all of these questions is that I'll do the back cue and then I'll make sure I flip from each particular platform and ask a question off of each one. So I'm trying to be somewhat fair about this. It may seem somewhat arbitrary because your question on one platform may have come in a little bit earlier than on the others, but I'm trying to be as fair as possible. So I just answered a question from, <laughs> okay, okay. 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 Um, okay. <laughs> all right. Let me tell you all about this. I was trying to lead up to how I'm and why I'm flipping from platform to platform to answer questions. And I said, I just asked the questions about <laughs> Uh, from a question from Facebook, I answered one. So now I was going to move to a question off of YouTube. But as I was moving off my Facebook one, <laughs> and I just told you all about my rules, somebody said for the whole private jet thing, but no stinky feet. <laughs> oh my gosh, and that you must have nice socks. So, uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Thanks, Trish. <laughs> and Calvin, oh my gosh, so hilarious. You see, you all are not supposed to be making me laugh all like this <laughs> because I'm supposed to be answering questions and I can't answer a daggone question. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, boost friends. Hey, boost friends, we're all boosting each other to be better and we need to be able to laugh. So give it up for Princeton right now, my alma mater. And actually, <laughs> One of those comments came from a friend from Princeton. Oh my gosh, hilarious. Okay, pull it back together. Like, mm, get that hat on, get your hair down. Yeah, you like, you see, I decided to do braids for, for the hour. <laughs> because it's, you know, we're staying at home. We're changing it up. I haven't worn this one in like the problem music video. That's the last time I had on this beautiful, beautiful braided hair. Um, but <laughs> so let, like I was saying, let me put my head on straight. Let me get my hair together. Let me get my scarf. Let me get my accessories. And let me go answer this question on YouTube. <laughs> so the question on YouTube was that uh, the pandemic is really getting in my head and it's hard for me to be productive. What's some advice you can offer people who are having a hard time even achieving the first step into taking action? Let me make sure I've had this. Yeah. Pandemic is really getting my head hard for me to be productive. What's some advice you can offer people who are having a hard time even achieving the first step into taking action? All right. So that question is coming. Oh, hold on. That's a big airplane. Oh, OK. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this so you can see it. All there. You all see the airplane there? Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. Okay. I hope. Maybe you just, that was Instagram. I just showed you all the airplane flying and I hope you saw it. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you just saw the sky. I'm going to try it right over here. Also for Facebook. Here you go. You see airplane? I hope you see it. If you don't see it, um, if you don't see it, that's okay. You just saw me move the phone and that's fine too. YouTube, sorry, I can't. You're on my computer, so I can't really easily pick up the computer and try to show you this airplane. That was a big, loud one. But it did give me a moment to say hello um, and to take a break so the sound from that airplane can pass and then I can answer the question about essentially how to be productive um, 
with the pandemic getting in your head and some advice to offer people who are having a hard time achieving the first step into taking action. Okay, so the first step to taking action, and I'll, I'll put it this way. Sometimes you just have to act and not overthink the action, but always you have to think. So the difference is we want to think, but not overthink. Because oftentimes when you are overthinking, what happens? it stalls action and it stalls progress. And you do not want that at all. So essentially what ends up happening is one of the first steps you can do to, to try to get out of your head and be more productive. And I've been really working on this too because who I got a lot of stuff going on. I've been trying to get my calendar together. I've been trying to get my list together of all the things I've been doing. And I have been so much busier than before. I would say, if you have a lot going on in your head, find a way to get it out. And what I mean by finding a way to get it out is whether you are writing it out, whether like by hand writing it out, whether you're typing it out, whether you're using the notes app on your phone or on your computer, whether you are using a voice memo app, app sometimes the lack of productivity is because you're thinking, okay, there's so much I have to do. One, I don't know where to begin. Two, I don't wanna forget all of the stuff that I know I need to be doing. So that's just a quick way you can try to become more productive by at least get it out. If you get it out and then you, you can label it however you want, things to go back to. At least it's no longer in your head. And then what you're able to do is figure out a time, even if you're scheduling a time, every night before you go to bed, first thing in the morning, like some way and some time that you allocate and dedicate to going back to that. And it's what I call focus time. Now, unfortunately, I don't have enough focus time. <laughs> I was like, I need more focus time because I've got so much. But I think the other thing is in terms of trying to get the pandemic, like all of the things out of your head, sometimes it's just to find a moment to tell yourself it is going to be okay. And okay means whatever the outcome is, like literally whatever the outcome is, it's going to be okay. Because you can sometimes really start to get yourself really, really just so tightly wound up to, and you're causing it more than even other things are causing it. So if the news, you start watching it all the time and it's like pandemic and this is happening and this and this and that, take a moment, don't watch it. Don't watch it. Take a moment and just say, all right, I am not going to look at the news. I am not going to read any of the headlines this morning. I'm not going to do it until I get everything out of my head. And I'm going to instead start my day. Hey, boost friend, like start it with a boost. Start it with something that's going to help me feel good and feel more positive about the situation, even though it is a serious situation. But the fact is, we've been in serious situations before. Boost friends, let me tell you, we have been. That's life. Life is a series of situations that can have their ups and can have their downs. So in this instance, make sure all, what we're finding and what I even say, what's happening even now, it feels like it's it, everything that we normally do, the, the highs, the lows feel like they're amplified even more. And they're amplified even more because when we hear even some of the language like social distancing, I get it, we need to make sure we are, are practicing this physical distancing. However, words matter. And I always say words matter. And I try to choose my words very carefully always because I know words matter. So if I'm looking at this and I'm saying words matter and I hear social distancing and I'm like, okay, pandemic, it's in my head, I'm social distancing. Oh my gosh, I'm isolated. Oh my gosh, I'm all alone. When, what do you have at your disposal? maybe not every, those of us who are, are fortunate, and I think every single one of us who is on this Q&A session right now are fortunate. And we are all absolutely fortunate because we're on this because we are either using a device that is a smartphone, it's a device that is a computer, it's a device that's an iPad or uh, some other sort of tablet, which means we are so much more privileged and fortunate than so many that in many ways, it's really insulting for us to be so caught up in our heads and in our minds when we're some of the ones that are the most privileged. If instead we take it outside of ourselves, it's beyond ourselves and think how, and I always say, own your power, 
live your purpose, be of service, think about how you can be of service, then that's going to help too. So hopefully some of those things will help you be productive. Get it out your head. Don't look at the things that are going to bring you down first thing in the morning. Don't look at the things that are going to bring you down last thing you do before you go to bed. Split it up. Make sure you actually put in moments where you are like, hey, mark it on your calendar and say joyful moment. Mark it on your calendar and say productive moment. And if that productive moment is saying, I'm taking a moment to know that I'm going to be productive in all the things that I'm doing and I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to look through all of this stuff or I'm going to record this or I'm going to write it down. Just be conscious and aware that you have a choice. You have a choice. So if you're there, be aware that you have a choice and also help some other people. Be a boost friend to other people too. Okay. So I did Facebook. I did YouTube. I did some questions that came through on my cell phone from last week. Um, let me now go to Instagram. Okay. So I'm going to go back to Instagram, but before I go to the Instagram question, let me say hello to everybody because I know a number of you have just come in and I see you waving and I see your hearts and I'm sending you love and my heart, the big hugs and virtually and I'm sending some sunshine your way. Do you know what? Let me tell you something. Okay. I want to tell you that it was supposed to be raining here. Hey, Michelle, love you, girl, too. Um, it was supposed to be raining here in Southern California. Like it all week long was supposed to be raining. And it's just little moments like this. Look, do you see? I see. I need sunglasses now. That sun that just came out. I'm hoping you all feel the warmth of us not being socially distant, but being socially here in solidarity together. Hopefully you're feeling that warmth just like I'm feeling the warmth of the sun that is on my face. And that's the thing. We never know. Things can be so unexpected at times. What? people may say or predictions that may be there may not come true. So it's okay. We should not spend time worrying about the things that we don't know are going to happen or not. we got to make sure we're still taking advantage of these moments to be happy, to be joyful, to be intentional and boost friends, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And those who I know are going to be sending me messages and texts. I just thought I'd give you that moment. Okay, now back to my Instagram question that I need to answer. So one moment, let me get that up because I'm trying to be, once again, pretty fair. And this question is, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was earlier, so now I'm trying to, one second. Hold on, everybody, I'm almost there. Okay, right there. All righty. So this question is under the pressure. Oh, wait, under the. And this is from Frederick. Under the present economic circumstance, what would you advise? Getting even more student loan to get an advanced degree or focusing on skill training and self development? So this question, once again, Frederick, great question. Um, under the present economic circumstance, what would you advise getting even more student loan? And that was more with a capital M-O-R-E, which means, hey, how many of us have had student loans before? I'm raising my hand. I, you all put up the hand emoji if you have had that. Um, so, uh, yeah, getting even more student loans to get an advanced degree or focusing on skill training and self-development. So I think it's a couple of things, Frederick, in terms of that. I have always said, no matter what you do, you never stop learning. You never stop learning. And learning can happen whether you are going to a formalized school of higher learning, whether you are getting advanced degrees, learning can always happen. So number one, never feel that you must have a certain type of degree in order for you to learn and in order for you to add value. You don't, but you must absolutely always understand that learning cannot stop. And not only can learning not stop, you're training and always making sure you are sharp. And what I mean by sharp, keep those skills sharp, keep things leveling up in your life for you always. And how do you do that? Make sure you take a moment to learn. So if you're going to say, all right, student loan debt, I want to get into more student loan debt because, uh, you know, I want to get an advanced degree or I want to get training. I would say before you go do that, think about what your goal is. So if 
the way I always operate is I know I'm never going to stop learning. So I know I'm always, absolutely always going to find a way to level up my skills no matter what. So when I hear some people who are like, oh, no, I'm too old. I don't know how to do that. Or, oh, no, I've learned. I can't learn anymore. I, I don't want to learn more. I am like, whoa. OK, well, if, if that's the case, your life may be over. Really? The minute you decide you don't want to learn anymore or that you can't learn anything more, your life may be over. Because, Boost Friend, I'm here to tell you, life is about love and life is about learning and life is about growth and life is about constantly developing yourself and working towards your purpose and being of service to others. Like, that's what life is about. So when we're thinking about all this, I don't ever want to hear, oh, no, I can't learn this. It may be difficult to learn. But even that is an opportunity. So, Frederick, what I would say is figure out what your goals are for learning, because it sounds like you already have some degrees. It sounds like you have some student loan debt. Now it's important to assess what your financial situation is. Assess what your situation is in terms of income and various other. It goes into, once again, that whole assessing your financial situation. And let's see. Do you want to take on even more debt now? Is it necessary for you to have this a specific advanced degree to help get you training for something that may be actually a skill based training that you can do online or for a lower cost? Maybe you can teach yourself like coding is a great example of that. I taught myself how to code because why? Because I love learning and I'm like and I love math and I love sciences and I love like any I just love anything anything. So figure out what type of learner you are. Are you a visual learner? Do you learn by hearing? Do you learn by doing? And continue to get skill training in that. If it were me, I, I don't know that I would use this moment to get an advanced degree. If I were going into learning and learning this, and learning for the sake of trying to use it towards an employment opportunity. Instead, I would say, what is the employment opportunity that I'm trying to get? What is the skill that is necessary for that employment opportunity? Whether it is a business you're starting on your own, whether you are going to be an entrepreneur. And for those who don't know, entrepreneur is essentially, it's when you are an entrepreneur and you have innovative ideas and but you don't wanna go and start your own thing. So instead you're bringing all of that into an existing business or into an existing organization. So whether you're a solopreneur and you're just like, no, oh, no, oh, it's just me, I, I'm doing my thing. That's it. So look at what are opportunities and how you want to use this skill that you want to learn. And if it is for something that's linked towards an employment opportunity, then absolutely make sure you're matching the learning that you're doing with the opportunity that you're trying to create for yourself. So I'll say that again. Make sure you are matching the learning that you are doing with the opportunity that you want to create for yourself. So what ends up happening in this instance is if you do that, then you hopefully can start to break down. All right. Do I need an advanced degree right now or do I just want to do more skill based things? And by all means, people get advanced degrees. I've got I got the receipts. I got the degrees and the letters all behind my name, multiple ones from JD to MDR to BA to like all of that. My master's degree, my law degree, my like all of that. So I'm never going to be like, oh, no, don't do what I did. But I'm also saying also think about it in terms of even financially where because still you can go what's working for you best during this particular time you may not need it if it's for a specific employment opportunity now if it's for your personal edification great or even if you want it and it's been a goal go ahead go do it there's always going to be a place for advanced degrees always going to be a place for learning in this particular moment i think right now just really assess because we know things are a bit uncertain now but also no matter what frederick learn do it. I know you're already going to. So figure out which which way works for you. So it is now 1230, my boost friends on Instagram and on YouTube and on Facebook. And it's about an hour, although I, we were trying to get a little few things together. We're trying to get the platforms up. So guess what? I will get to see you next week. Yeah, next week. And I know I'm actually going to start doing some things like where two, three times a day, they're just little quick boosts, not even question and answers, but for one of the boost friends who asked like, oh, this pandemic stuff, it's getting in my head. And I did this last week with, um, actually with a different company and they were like, hey, can you come? Can you give our people a boost? And I said, sure. 
and it'll just be something really quick, like a, a, a quick two to five minute boost just to help you see things a little bit differently. So be on the lookout for all of that. Be on the lookout for some of the upcoming webinars. I've got a webinar this Friday. Um, what time is that one? I've got it this Friday. You know what? Let's just do this. Ask. I'm going to leave it with you with that. Ask me. <laughs> A S K A three three six seven two zero two seven five. I'm flipping the page because on different platforms you cannot always see it the right way. So do a screenshot and check your chat. Ask. Text me at eight three three oops six seven two zero two seven five. That's for you Instagram and here you go for YouTube. Same thing. Text me. Ask eight three three six seven two. Ooh, but let me get the wind. Do a screenshot of this so then you can text it and have it for later. And also check your chat box. I'm flipping it both ways because the image flips depending on which platform I'm on. I'm on all three. So uh, so here you go. <laughs> and for Facebook, this is for you. Text me. Do a screenshot. And then you can text me later. So you have this. Text me. Ask 833-672-0275. And make sure you just text me your questions. Any questions you want me to cover. And I'll make sure that we're covering them next week in next week's Q&A. And even anything that you think would be helpful for you in terms of the webinars that we have. We're going into things about productivity tips, things about how to use this opportunity to create opportunities. Huh. Uh, th this opportunity, <laughs> what may be seen as an obstacle to create opportunities, how to go into a little bit more in terms of finance and planning and business planning, how to talk about how to do remote. And um, then also join us at the webinar that is going to be on Friday. And I'll give you more details about that. But it is Friday at 9 a.m., the webinar. So I will see you all then. Text me any questions, any things you want me to cover. And once again, we may be physically distant, but we are socially together. So let's continue to boost each other to be better together. That's what we're going to do. Okay, everyone who loves you, I do. I'm going to say bye for now. And I'm going to tell you to stay supercharged, stay safe, stay home. So we can let the people who need to be doing essential things, do the essential things that they're doing and let's help them in whatever way we can and stay supercharged. Bye. Take care. Bye. And thank you for joining me. Okay, I'm trying to turn it off on YouTube, but the sun is like shining off the computer. So I can't even see where it says end. So you all just gonna see me try to figure this out for a minute. So, you know, just bear with me. Just bear with me while I'm trying to see this button. And <laughs> I need my sunglasses so I can, this, this sun. Oh, 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 sorry, Facebook. I didn't even realize you all were still on too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>